All right, guys. We are back live with the next round of our session two here. We've got three matches left on session two. This next session is going to be a great singles match. We've got Jordan the Breeze Briones on the closest side in the primetime pickleball shirt. And we've got Hudef sponsored player out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Thad. Stands for Frank Anthony Davis. <laughs> the very talented Thad, that's for sure. And I think this is going to be some exciting points. What do you think, Courtney? I agree. I'm really excited for this one, you know, because uh, Jordan is coming off of a big win, as you were uh, saying, and with uh, Lindsey Newman, who another very talented player. And uh, so, you know, I think he has a little bit of uh, momentum going his way. But... Frank Anthony Davis, there's not much that needs to be said about this gentleman. He's a phenomenal player, a phenomenal singles player, that is. So uh, I think it'll be an exciting one for sure. Yeah, and I mean, they used the word uh, in the interview, Riley and Tyson used the word Team Scrappy. And I, I would put Frank Anthony Davis in that same category. I think he's very, very scrappy. I think he's one of our most gritty, scrappy players in singles that we have. I agree. You know, he's every bit of 5'9", 5'8", 5'9", you know, yeah. probably 165, 70 pounds, whatever it is. And he goes up against some of the absolute Goliaths of this sport in singles and goes head-to-head, -head, toe toe-to-toe with them. The one thing that you cannot say about Frank is that he'll give up on a point or a match or anything. This guy will fight to the bitter end, to yeah. the bitter end with it. Absolutely. I've seen him play a couple of local tournaments, uh, Guillaume tournaments, where he played against Kyle. And, you know, each time he played against him, he just kept on trying the entire time. You know, Kyle is one of the most talented as uh, pickleball players in the game right now. And, uh, you know, Frank doesn't give up easily, just as you're talking about, Scott. Yeah, I've, n I've never seen the guy quit on a point. I mean, he literally has a, a video on his Facebook page. I, I don't know if he's taking it down now, but it was at Nationals. And he, he was, like, literally sliding across the thing for this point. And it was unbelievable to watch it on the video. He, wow. he literally extends all the way out. He's fully extended. He gets the ball and puts it back over. And it was, like, from baseline to, to right up against the net almost. I mean, like, the dude is just that scrappy like that. Wow. Yeah. It's yeah, crazy. that's unbelievable. Now switching gears, I feel like Jordan Briones is is very like a he's like a smooth player, right? So like whether it be doubles or singles, when you see Jordan play, he, he's just got this smoothness and re just a really like solid gameplay. Very steady player. Is that fair assessment probably? Yeah, I haven't seen him play too too much, but um, of all the uh, play that I've seen him do here is, yeah, he's very steady and in doubles he truly relies on his partner, so I'm excited to see what he does in singles here against Frank Anthony Davis. Yeah, and, and also you guys need to understand that uh, a lot of these pros do this full time now. Or if they don't do it full time, they're doing something pickleball related, whether it be teaching pickleball or whatever. And so Jordan has his own primetime pickleball business, right? He's also got two kids. He's got a wife and he's got a full time job with UPS. So yes. he's juggling a lot of different things in life right now. So he told me last night when we all went out to dinner that, you know, his schedule doesn't really allow for him to play a ton of tournaments and it doesn't really allow for him to, to train a whole lot. Um, right now, so he's not even actually playing in the U.S. Open this year. Oh, wow. So he's down here for this event, but he's going to be flying back on Friday or Saturday. So, you know, that's impressive that he's out here with all these pro players like himself, and he's not even being able to train and, and play a whole lot right now. Definitely, yeah, very happy that he is here in that case. Zero, zero. All right, so here we go. Oh, wow, right out of the gate, Frank Anthony just rolling that forehand right there. Yeah, nice little passing shot there to start off. One, zero. Another roll back-to-back -back right down the line there. He just keeps that ball so low that uh, it's very difficult for any opponent to do anything with it because, well, they have to lift it up so that it goes over the net. He went for another one there, but that one didn't go his way. Zero, 
Zero two. We've got Marsha Frezzo as our official ref for this match. That's impressive. I actually thought Frank Anthony might go around the post on that one, but in, instead he chose to kind of fade it inside out down the line right there. Yeah, I like that choice because I think Jordan probably expected that as well. But, uh, you know, and so typically that would probably be a shot that he would make. But in that case, because he wasn't expecting it, not as easy to make. Three, zero. Frank's got a nice early lead. That probably feels really good given this format. Oh, oh. man, that ball just missed wide. Yeah, that was a nice stretch, though. Frank got that ball to roll over nice and soft Four, right over the zero. net. And uh, Jordan had to kind of make something happen, pull, pull the magic trick out of the bag there. You were talking about that smoothness earlier, Scott, Look at that right Jordan, there. but I mean, Frank's got it too. That was just. <laughs> yeah, Frank works the court so nicely in singles and in doubles. We saw in doubles where he poached a lot, That's and there's another, another passing shot. shot. What were you saying, though, he post? That uh, in doubles, he was hitting a lot of uh, poaching and uh, really working the court in mixed doubles, and that is the same way that he does in singles. Yeah, he'll literally go sideline to sideline with, without any problem at all. No, he's mixing up the spins very nicely, keeping Jordan guessing. That, my friend. Rob Cassie, what did you think about that right there? I thought that was an incredible effort by Jordan Briones. My man. Yes, it was. <laughs> that was like a little twinkle toes there by, uh, by Frank, though. He did like some t type of little. Seven yeah, he is so light on those feet, that's for sure. But uh, Jordan with the slide, you know. As you all can probably hear, I'm a huge fan of when players slide on hard courts. Yeah, I would break my ankles <laughs> trying that mess right there. I've seen several of these pros doing that today and yesterday, and I'm like, what the heck are they doing? Myself included. We have one of those pros that loves to slide here on this stage with us right now. Regina Franco, you love to slide out there, don't you? Oh, yeah. Hey, Most of it, if I can dive, oh, well, I will look for it. <laughs> she never gives up. Nine zero. We may be experiencing oh, wow. just a tad bit of technical difficulty here. We should have the live stream back up and going if, in fact, it did zero, go down. So just bear with us here for just a pre brief moment. Side out. Nine zero. All right, Frank Anthony taking complete control of this singles match as of right now. Very commanding lead Side right out. now. We're only five minutes in, but he's been absolutely lights out, on fire, almost flawless up yeah. to this point. Definitely came out of the gate swinging. It's like he ate some pizza or something. It was just like feeling refreshed after lunch. <laughs> Frank's really, honestly, the most energy I've seen from Frank all, all week so far. Absolutely. I mean, right there, he just displayed some amazing touch. And in singles, being able to push someone up, push them back, you know, that's a great skill to have. And I think sometimes, I know this is, happens to me a lot. If, if you get down a good bit, you start trying to push a little more. So you try, start trying to hit your returns a little deeper with a little more pace maybe. And you get some missed returns like that sometimes. That's going to happen. But outside of that, I think Frank is honestly just playing phenomenal pickleball right now. I think he's playing great right now. I mean, are you seeing some of the best pickleball we've seen some, from Frank? Honestly, I agree with you because Frank is a player that can control very well the speed on the game. And right now, he's just using the combination between the good hands and the speed against Jordan Baroness. So um, I'm surprised. And that's really when Frank's the most dangerous, I think, when, he, when he's feeling not just his energy level up, but also 
the way he moves on that court, the way he hits these shots, like all of that has to be working in conjunction with each other. And right now, he looks like he's putting on a clinic. Yeah, which it sounds like Regina's pretty happy about that because uh, Frank is her teammate right now for We're Team East. East. So They could use a big win right now. Well, they definitely yeah. could, yeah. And points do matter, so Frank's not going to let off the, off the throttle here. No way. He never does, you know, whether they matter or not. Whether it's time, whether it's points, he always goes 100%. Just missed wide there. I, yeah, I felt like he actually had a really good beat on that ball right there. He just hit it. That was a nice low shot yeah. there. Good side out right there. Let's see if Jordan can get on the board here, get something going. There's still a ton of time. It's still 13 minutes left in this game. So this thing could change around in a, in a minute. Yeah, you know, Frank is up 12-0 to zero right now, but he still showed a little bit of uh, frustration there when he actually missed that shot and gave Jordan the side out. And so. And then followed up by a missed return. And sometimes Correct. just getting that first point, it's, it's One, like such a relief when you get off zero. and you find, Sometimes the floodgates can open, and we'll see what happens. I agree. Let's see if Jordan can do something with this. A little cat and mouse game here. Oh, that's just, that's just a really good play right there by Frank. Again with the spins, I mean, Frank just puts some uh, commanding spin on the ball, well, whether it's what? top spin or underspin, both he disguises so well. I think it's important, too, to, to know that anybody watching for the first time, I mean, each match that gets played, there's $500 well, on the line here. So well, this is well. for money. These, these players are competing at, at, at the – most highest at the highest level that we have in pickleball, but also we're putting some cash prizes on these events on these uh, games. Oh well, I didn't. It, it was going to be pick your poison basically. If he lets it go, it goes out. If he hits the winner there, the only it feels good. The only thing <laughs> could be if he misses that shot, right? Yeah, absolutely. But he needed that. I feel like that Jordan needed that right there to hit that. All right, we're seeing some more energy out of Jordan here. Okay, there we go. That's sometimes what you need, just like a couple points strung together, get a little momentum, right? Absolutely. Jordan is a player that can handle the pressure. He's so smart in the court, and he knows how to manage his energy. So I think that he just let a little bit... Frank gets tired, so he's going to come back right now. It, 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 it's looking a little better at 12-4. How much time was left? Ten Four minutes. Well. All right, so we got ten minutes left in this game. We're about to switch sides here soon. Look at that kit. Oh, oh, oh man. Wow. wow that would have been a great stretch by Jordan. It still was, but just not quite enough. Unbelievable athleticism for him to get to that ball that got dropped into the kitchen there. Beautiful. He had, so Jordan did have control of that point right there, but Frank able to hit a great shot, unattackable, and he was able to move up. That was, I think, the difference right there. Yeah, and just past Jordan's forehand of all shots, too. Okay, there you go. Oh, wow. Wow. Good Lord, that was an amazing That's show of athleticism right there. He, that was exactly what we were talking about with how Frank Anthony Davis never gives up. He got that ball back and forced one more shot. And Jordan missed that. I cannot believe what we just witnessed right there. I don't think Jordan thought he, uh, he could get it. I think, he, uh, I think Jordan thought he had it. He, Jordan actually, the body language from Jordan was that the point was over. And all of a sudden, boom, flick of the wrist. The ball's up in the air. And he was a little caught off guard, wasn't he? Absolutely. One thing that I like to say is uh, assume victory, not only for yourself, but also for your opponents. You know, ne always expect them to get it back. That way you're ready. Oh, man, that's great <laughs> advice right there. And, and, you know, honestly, this could be a learning experience for Jordan right there. Like knowing that you've got to expect the ball to come back no matter what, right? Yeah, I mean, in pickleball, 
everything can happen. So even if you think that the point is over, you cannot give up just like that. You have to be sure just to finish the point. Yeah, and I, I mean, again, I, I think he thought that point was was over there. Yeah, I know. I mean, I look did. at this picture on the screen right here. Yeah, Frank never gives up. We, we all, <laughs> even though we said Frank never gives up, we honestly all thought that point was over. Fourteen <laughs> four. All right, fourteen four. We're just above eight and a half minutes here left in this game. Look, it seems like an uphill battle right now, down ten, but in singles, it literally can change on a dime. Jordan is not out of the the picture here. No he can way. absolutely crawl back in this. Oh. It, it's important, though, that he does get some momentum going at some point. He, he cannot keep going side out, side out. He will, he will run out of time at some point if that hap keeps happening. Yeah, he's got to keep that serve on his side of the court. I feel like Frank is just on another level right now with his movement and athleticism oh that oh. is just he unbelievable just hit his head on the, he just hit his head on the um on the the pole right there jordan just hit his head on the pole we're gonna take a quick check on him i think he's okay he kind of just bounced grazed off of it i believe or just bounced yeah yeah he did he absolutely hit his head i saw it he, but he, it looked like more like he grazed it or kind of just hit and, and bounced off of it versus like direct contact. I hope so. So I think he's going to be all right. He's going to take his 60 second timeout here. Um, if Marsha feels like he needs a medical timeout, I believe what will happen is we'll stop that clock and then he'll get a few minutes. Normally in a, um, in a regular pickleball match, you would get 15 minutes for a medical. I don't know what the policy is with our event here, but I will say that. The player's safety is the first thing Absolutely. that will be the concern. Yeah. Tyson being a great teammate right there and and bringing his partner some uh, some Gatorade, some electrolytes to get him back on his feet. Yeah, and actually Kyle from Team East was the first to rush over there and check on Jordan from Team West. So that, again, is great sportsmanship right there. In, in Absolutely. And Absolutely. Yeah, all of these players, you know, they're all friends outside of this competition uh, for the most part, if I'm not mistaken. So they all want to see each other succeed and perform to their, the best of their abilities. Unless they're playing against each other. <laughs> oh, Frank got so excited right there on that. Okay, so... So, so what you just saw right there, this is great. This is great. So what just unfolded there was Frank went around the post. Jordan calls it out initially. <laughs> then Frank 15, lets four. out that, that roar. And then the appeal 16, from Jordan was like, did you see that? 16, and she said four. that ball was in. That was really kind of Jordan to be the one to ask, actually, too. Because who knows if, uh, if Frank would have actually asked and had that ball, that ball challenged. Oh, my gosh. Look this at that. This is unbelievable. He said, nope, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, again, great sportsmanship, yeah. right? He could have stuck to that call, no, right? And he could have been stubborn about that. But he realized instantly, you know what? I think that ball did hit the line. Great sportsmanship. Yeah, absolutely. Both of these fierce competitors, you know, they know how to, uh, you know, have good sportsmanship out here. And that's one of the most important things. And honestly, right now, I feel like both players are, are like playing to the crowd right now. Like they're they're I battling see. for the crowd to enjoy this right now. Absolutely. Look at that hustle, man. That's just oh, I bet that's just unbelievable. I would have expected Frank to go uh, cross court with that one, but he chose to go down the line. And even Six, though that five. could have been Jordan's forehand there, it still worked. Just shows that Frank knows just what to do with the ball. Why when you think Frank, you know what Frank's going to do, he does the opposite. <laughs> so this is, this is going to be a big win for you guys with Team East because not only are you all getting a win, but you're actually getting a good amount of points here. Yes, that's, you're right. Scott. I mean, we've been having really tough matches. Team West is really tough. And if Frank wins this match, it's going to just 
motivators right now, so hopefully it happens. Team East could certainly use a big dominant win right now, and that and that I'm not being funny. Like you guys were nine six to start the day, and you guys have kind of had a little bit of a rough run today. So this is a big match, and this can spark some energy back in the Team East here. Are you playing any more today, Regina? No, I'm not. I just play doubles and singles until tomorrow I play again. All right, so that's why you're up here with us, I think. Are you, I, I was going to say, that's okay. She can just hang out with us. That's right. <laughs> Side out. And Frank's still hustling because he knows he wants those points. I think Scott was just about to say that. I read his mind. You literally <laughs> read my mind. You saw the hustle from Frank to get back to the line and start serving. I did. Side out. But, again, I love this grit from Jordan. He's down 18-5. It doesn't matter. He's going to fight until that clock hits zero. You know, I'm very surprised between these two players because Jordan has really good technique, and he's very precise about how the game has to be played. And Frank he has all that trick um, game, and he just, he just does all the unexpected shots. And... I mean, it's, it's working for him, so I'm, I'm very surprised about that. Yeah, definitely. Frank is a little unorthodox with his style, but it works for Frank, right? Yeah, I feel like Frank is like the Houdini of pickleball. You know, <laughs> That's a great he's got like his bag of tricks that he just pulls out of his hat. He literally does seem like Houdini <laughs> at times. Maybe, he, maybe he's related to the original Houdini. I would not be surprised. a good drop shot there look look at that that actually he took a page right out of frank's book because frank did that earlier in a doubles match where he spun around and hit a winner like that <laughs> maybe, and maybe. that is uh frank's picture on uh when his gpr ranking shows up that's right oh wow look at that but again see the effort from frank even though he Absolutely. didn't get his paddle on that it's the effort that he's giving even Full being stretch that's something that we have to admire of these kind of players. And you're in that caliber, too. You, you fought tooth and nail. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, oh. my gosh. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. Incredible. I mean, <laughs> saved and around the post from Jordan. The crowd and absolutely <laughs> loving this showcase of ability and Athleticism right here. That was great. What an exciting singles match. That was impressive right there in itself. <laughs> yeah. He kept that ball inside the, the line there. 18 Oh, just missing that one wide. Team East needs to build on this momentum right here because I feel like Frank has really re-energized Team East here. I know personally I'm not for Team West or Team East. I'm the commentator, but I am motivated by what Frank is doing here to try to motivate Team East. Absolutely. I mean, with Kyle and Adam up next, I think that this could be a, a little bit of a game changer here. Matter of fact, if Courtney, if you look to your left, Kyle's actually over there warming up right now. I he haven't seen is. that from Kyle just yet, so I think he's motivated to come out with some fire. I think so. And get back-to-back -back wins for Team East. Absolutely. But Kyle is definitely a fierce competitor as well, you know. Just like Frank Anthony Davis, and it is 20 to 9 with 10 seconds left. And I, I feel like Deckel and Rob might have something to say about Team East trying to get two wins back to back, but. I agree. We're going to find out shortly, guys. Here that was the buzzer on that final score in that singles match with Frank and Jordan, 20 to 9. Team East with a big, big dominating win right there. Very We're going to do a nice. quick interview with Frank and Jordan, and we'll be right back to the action. All right, guys, we've got Frank Anthony Davis right here for this live interview. Frank, I think that's honestly the best I've seen you play all weekend and the most energy I've seen out of you right there. Yeah, for this weekend, for sure. I think probably one of my best performances ever. I mean, I played pretty good at New Jersey Open, but that was, that was pretty high level from a really talented player in Jordan Briones. Absolutely. I mean, the athleticism that was going back and forth on that court, you could tell that the crowd was really into that. They loved it. There was a show of athleticism between the two of you at the end there that the crowd absolutely went nuts over. It was awesome. 
So if you saw the intensity from me when I had a big lead, it's only because of how good Jordan is. If I give him an inch, he's taken a mile. So I needed to stay focused and just keep playing my game or he could get back into the match. You know, there's a lot of time left at 10 minutes when you have a big lead. So, I mean, it was a really fun match, and I'm, I hope I can play like that for the rest of my life. <laughs> I love it. And, and that's great momentum going into the U.S. Open for you as well. Man, great win for Team East. Team East needed that win right there. That's a bit, that could spark some big stuff right here. So congratulations, Frank. Appreciate it, buddy. All right, we got Jordan coming over here. Jordan, talk to me, brother. You were hustling left and right. Unbelievable athleticism by both of you guys. You did come up a little short, but, man, the crowd was loving you guys. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Frank played really, really great. So uh, he's a great player to compete against. I played him uh, a few times uh, in our past. So, yeah, it was a good game. Talk to us real quick about what happened. You do It looked like you dove for a ball over here. From our vantage point, I thought you cracked your head pretty good. You ended up being okay, but talk to us real quick about that. No, no, it looked like it, I'm sure. But, no, I, I was just trying to get to the ball and – Trying to go around the post with it, actually, but yeah, that that pole was kind of in the way. So, hopefully, I mean, it was good. I didn't I didn't hurt myself too bad. So. I was gonna say, I'm glad you're okay, man. You got a wife and kids to go home too, so that's good stuff, man. And we're gonna try to get some padding on those things uh, for future reference. <laughs>